Hey, welcome back guys, JC here, and what I have today is the Furious FPV Piggy OSD. And I gotta say, I actually really like this OSD. It is just like the Minim OSD Micro, and it's actually bigger than the Minim OSD Micro. I mean, many people love the Minim OSD just for how small it is, but even though it is big, bigger, it fits the build so much better and cleaner. The reason I say this is because with the Minim OSD Micro, on a lot of my builds, I was placing it right on top of my flight controller with electrical tape on the back side and uh, keeping the wires nice and short and clean. Sometimes I couldn't fit it there, so I'd put it on the frame with a piece of electrical tape on the bottom. But no matter what I did, it, it just wasn't that clean and it was still somewhat in the way. Where this, I'm just going to show you a picture. It mounts to the back of the HS1177 and 1190 cameras. And this makes for a super clean build. I mean, just look how clean this is. Look how empty it looks. But this is a real deal build. I mean, I got D-Shot ESCs, flag controller, receiver, OSD on the back of the camera. I mean, it looks simple. It looks too simple looks like I'm missing something. Now before we go any further, um, I'm going to explain why I have wires on this. Well, actually, I have this already wired up because right after this video, uh, for those of you that may need a little more help, um, I mean this is just like the Minimum OSD Micro, you set everything up exactly the same, but for those of you that may need extra help, I'm going to make a few ex extra videos showing you how to wire this and uh, also flash firmware and everything else like that. Uh, but yeah, let's talk about price because this is one. This is the reason why I almost did not buy this. So if you go to FuriousFPV.com, they sell this for fifteen dollars, and when you compare that to the Minimum OSD Micro, it, I think that's reasonable. It's well worth it to me. On Amazon, the Minimum OSD Micro averages uh, about eleven or twelve dollars. You can get them a little bit cheaper on Banggood. I'd say maybe eight dollars on average, but I'm more than willing to pay three to four extra dollars just for the form factor of this and having it out the way, making my build nice and clean. The problem with ordering from Furious FPV is the shipping. It costs fifteen dollars, and then the cheapest shipping they have is another fifteen dollars. So we're talking thirty bucks for one OSD. And that's where I almost gave up on this. But I just happened to look on Amazon and I found it for the same price, 15 bucks, but with free shipping. I'm gonna leave you a link to this in the description below so you can easily find it there. Now what else do you need to know? Because it's not, I know I said it's just like the Minimum OSD Micro, but even for you experienced users, there's a few things you need to know. Well first, there's actually two different versions of this. They make a Another one that looks just like this, but it says it's for KISS fly controllers. Now, I don't know if that's for KISS fly controller, well, for all of them, or uh, if you're using a KISS fly controller with Betaflight firmware and the Betaflight GUI, I couldn't tell you if you need the KISS specific one or if you would need the other one, because the other one, which is this one right here, will work on all the other Betaflight fly controllers. So you would have to ask them about that. Uh, next, I could not flash firmware to this to save my life until I actually went to their website and found out that, uh, you guys probably can't see this, but C8, there is a little resistor right here. There's a resistor. Or no, it, my bad, capacitor. There's a capacitor right there. You have to remove that to flash firmware to it. Do you have to put the capacitor back on? No, you don't. So I don't even know why that capacitor is there. I'm thinking it might be there to keep people from that don't know what they're doing from flashing firmware to it and screwing something up. That's my only guess because I removed it and the firmware would finally flash and I left it off and it's still working great. Just like with the Minimum OSD Micro, how you'd use this uh, FTDI adapter or uh, serial to whatever converter you want to, whatever you want to call this thing. Um, same pins and you would just plug it up like that. Well, it's the same thing on this, except it goes this way. 
So you can solder wires from this to this to get that solid connection, but what I've been doing is just placing this on like that and uh, kind of bending it at an angle and then plugging this into my computer and flashing firmware that way. And then once I'm done, I just pull it out. Like I said, uh, for you guys that don't know what I'm talking about, I'm gonna make a video after this. A couple more things. It does come with this uh, five pin connector. This is actually like one connector. I've just cut it, but it's like this on both sides. And this is for the uh, Furious FPV's Combini. I think that's how you pronounce it, their flight controller. And you're able to just plug this in. You get the idea. Plug this in like this, and then the other side plugs into that flight controller, and then you're done. All your wiring is done. Now, if you don't have the Combini, then you can use these down here. But what I have done, well, let me explain. You got ground, uh, receive, 5 volt, transmit, and ground. I ran a continuity test between this connector and these pins, and they are exactly the same. So what I've been doing is uh, I removed the grounds from both sides, and then that power in the middle, and that just leaves me with transmit and receive. I run that to a UART, and just plug it in like that, and there you go. Now you don't need to solder any wires to these or these. We are completely set up the way I have it wired right now. To power it, I'm actually using a video transmitter that uh, I power right off my PDB and it also kicks 5 volts back out and that 5 volt out is actually going to this red wire right here. But basically you have a 5 volt pin here, you have one in the middle of this connector, you have another one here, and then you have another one here. Uh, you can power this OSD and your camera with a 5 volt source on any of these three pins. It's your choice. And then this side right here is just going to my camera. I know this isn't a run cam switch or anything, I'm just using it for demonstration, but it's just video, ground, and power. And if you watched my recent video talking about the MW OSDs, uh, they have a pre-release of version 1.7, and if you don't already know, 1.7 that version of firmware is going to be very similar to Betaflight's built-in OSD feature. Uh, it doesn't have all the features, at least not right now from the uh, beta versions I've been using, but it has most of them, and it's been working great. I am testing it out with this, and it's, like I said, it's been working just fine. And that's pretty much all you need to know. So, uh, yeah, overall, I like it. It does cost a couple bucks more than MIM OSD Micro, but I highly prefer this over this just because this is way out the way you just bolt it to the back of your camera and never have to worry about it again that's going to do it for this one thanks for watching and i'll see you again soon